Hello to all of my viewers out there. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you this very cool little device. It looks like one of the devices that we use nearly every day, except it's actually used for storage. And guess what that is? If you guessed a car key, you'd be certainly right. Here I have this Mercedes-Benz USB flash drive, and while it may look like an actual uh, Mercedes car key, it is actually an 8GB USB flash drive. Let me show you. So here I have my Galaxy A22 over here, and if I plug it in using this little USB-C to USB-A adapter, now I can plug in the thing, the rig, and now that we have it plugged in, it should be detected by the phone. There we are, and now I get a little notification. There we are, USB storage added, open. And there we are. If we go back, then there we are, USB storage 1. And that is the device we have connected. By the way, I've connected this. I've connected this to another Android di device before, and it had the name Mercedes, which is very nice. Um, we can go to settings. Not really anything. But all these files again are. Wait, what is this? Okay, we don't have an app to open this, but we do have some files in here, just a bit of folders for alarms, downloads, all that crap, whatever. But we will want to talk about DCIM and Lost.dir. There's nothing inside DCIM for some reason. But I mean, that is such a very nice drive. Can we format it? All right. And if we format it, there we are. And now the drive isn't there. Oh, wait, it's there again. It just had to eject it. And to eject it, you can always tap on the three dots, then tap on unmount over here. And now it says unmounted. And you can always mount it again. By the way, there should be an option to eject this drive as well, because there's no option to eject it for some reason. And now that it is erased, we only have the lost.dir file, and the rest is all empty. And it says 7.65 gigabytes compared to the previous eight. So that means this is not a key. This is clearly a USB flash drive. And what if you can boot from it? That would be very nice if we could find that out. But now, um, to eject it, we can just simply unplug the thing, and there we go. I can now remove the USB flash drive. And, I mean, yeah, that was just not bad at all. I can now close my files, and there we are. So, as always, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.